Welcome to this presentation entitled Mesh Reflection and Merging Example in ANSYS Fluent. In this video you will learn how to reflect and merge a symmetric mesh in ANSYS Fluent. You may want to do this if you have a half symmetry mesh or case file but no solid model or just as a shortcut so you don't have to open the design modeler or space claim and measure in order to obtain a full model. The current mesh consists of an inlet, an outlet, and a symmetry surface. Here we have the fluent interface open. We're going to want to reflect the mesh about the x-axis. That's our first step. So here, let's look at the mesh first. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so to do that, we go to scale here, and we use the scaling factor of negative 1 for x, 1 for y, and 1 for z. So now let's scale. Okay, let's look at the mesh and you can see that it's been reflected about the x-axis. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save this as a case file. Okay, that's done. So now we're going to go back to scale and we're going to unscale to go back to the original mesh. Going to close that. Let's look at the mesh again. Okay, so there's our original mesh. And now we're going to append the mesh sorry, append the case file that we just saved. Okay, so now let's look at the mesh. Let's look at all of it. And you can see that it has been reflected. And now we have a full symmetric mesh. Now the next thing we want to do is get rid of these two symmetry boundary conditions. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go to mesh then we're going to go to combine and then we're going to fuse. We're going to fuse the two symmetry boundary conditions. Let's click on fuse. Okay, so now let's go look at the mesh again. And as you can see that symmetry, the two symmetry boundary conditions have been replaced with an, this interior dash 14. Okay, so that is now an interior face. So now what we have, we have uh, two inlets, inlet and inlet dot one. Um, inlet is the original inlet, inlet.1 is a reflected inlet, and then we also have outlet, which is the original outlet, and outlet.1 is the reflected outlet. Okay, so we can look at those. Okay. So there we have the two outlets. But now we are ready to define boundary conditions, material properties, etc., and run. So let's take full advantage of our complete mesh now and actually have asymmetric boundary conditions. So let's just turn on turbulence here. Just going to do realizable K epsilon. Because we'll just use uh, air as our uh, working fluid. Let's turn on the energy equation. We'll have different temperatures and different velocities. So for inlet one, keep it as a velocity inlet. Let's have, I guess we can keep the temperature of 300 K for there. We'll do a velocity to magnitude of two meters per second. And then for inlet one, let's have a velocity magnitude of uh, four meters per second. Sorry, and let's have a temperature of 350 Kelvin. Okay. So now let's initialize. So now let's run. To run calculation, let's do 500 iterations and let's calculate. So the solution is done. It is mostly converged, though not completely, but good enough for this demonstration. So now let's just quickly look at some contours of temperature on the walls. There you go. Thank you so much for watching this video.